We have got our hips to hips to start. So we're going to start with the ball on the hips. And then we're just going to circle it around and around and to the other hips. So it's a nice big circular smooth motion right around to the side. And you want to encourage those participants to reach their arms right out and stretch them right out. So you don't have to pull, hopefully, off of the lean like too much. But um, if they do, you can take the abdominals and go a little bit of the all right, so you can see that Carol is doing a little shoulder rotation and turning her shoulders to the side as she goes and brings that ball into the hip. So make sure that the participants are rotating to their torso. Another little way that you can engage those core muscles and work through the abdominals. All right, then we've got our wrist circles. So ball in one hand and just do a nice big circle with the ball and with the wrist consequences. So you'll do one side and then you will circle the other way. And try and encourage them to do a nice speed movement. Try to get the forearm moving up and down too much. You can see that Carol's forearm moving here isn't moving, it's just the wrist. So you might sort of see people just moving the whole arm. Try and encourage them to that just to identify and isolate those wrist muscles and get them doing the work. This is a good one to keep the mobility and flexibility of the wrist. Uh, around the world, this is one for the shoulders. So you want to have sitting back on the chair. So make sure we're not too far forward because we're going to pass that ball around the back. All right, so this is going to work those shoulders. As you can see, they want to try and hold the ball behind the head and swap that ball over from side to side. So you go with the ball going around one direction and then you'll swap and find the ball going the other way. So you are balancing all out to make sure there's not too much work on one side of the jump. Alright, so that is a good one that's around the world. Then we've got our foot circle. So we've got the ball on under one foot. And we're just going to do a little ankle circle, a little rotation, right up through to the knee, actually, and then just working that ball in a little circle and moving through. So it's that whole lower leg is working with that circular motion. And again, just a little gentle press down on the ball when you're doing it. So you can keep control of the ball and go into the press cross like one way. And then you can swap it over and circle the ball in the other direction. How big you go, how small you go, that's up to you and your participants. So you might start small and then encourage them to go a little bigger with their circle and see how they go to the control of the ball. Uh, otherwise, it's just a bit small and hopefully they won't have to get up to the chair and run after that ball, which does happen a little bit with this one. Um, knees to net, we are going to hit the ball on the knees and then take it up and over and hit the back of the neck. Again, this is a great one for shoulder flexibility, so we really want to encourage them to reach right up and then right over the back. You might find that they go up to here and then the elbows drop forward and they sort of come in here a little bit awkwardly. Trying to get them to take that ball right over with the elbows up high. Alright, so we want to have those elbows pointing up when the ball is over the back, not the elbows pointing forward. You might see that they do that, and we really want to oh, work on that mobility and flexibility through the shoulder muscles. So we want to get nice and straight and keep the shoulders down on this one all the time, all the way through, and engage those core muscles. You know the drill. Bone rolling. This is whenever I hold a ball, I'll often end up just doing this. And uh, just a little roll of coffee is a good one just to keep control of that roll. They can take it slowly or pick up the pace to touch it again. You can do it forward and you can do it backwards. So this is another good little relaxed one that they can do to the front. Shoulders down there on this one. All right, then we've got our elbow circle. So we're going to press that ball into the elbow. And we're going to just circle that elbow nice and deep. And then right back behind the body. We're going to do that little roll of coffee. Alright, so you don't have to press on the ball, you don't have to grip it too hard and squeeze it. Just hold it in there and then circle that elbow right back behind. And again, you can go backwards and then you can reverse the direction and bring it forward. So allow a little movement through the shoulder and through the torso as you're doing that. But so make sure it's not too much, you'll know what it's so there's a bit of overcompensating going on and they're not working those shoulder muscles as they should. So then one side and then the other. All right, then we've got our shoulder butter. A little bit of fun. We want to keep the palm flat on this one. And we're just going to move that ball around. We might be serving a tall person and then we might be serving a shorter person, a child, a 
over here to the left and to the right. Just try and keep the balance on that ball. And it can be just leading up and down. You might be serving drinks to a whole room full of people. And uh, maybe as an instructor, you can call out what kind of person you are serving, or if they're up high in the kitchen, or if they've got to get the tray from down low, and just explore the different to follow around with where those things are going. Try to make sure that they're not gripping the ball, but they're just holding the ball flat. So it's really an uh, extra challenge to balance that ball and to keep it flat like that. All right, they are some of our ball exercises that hopefully will keep your class entertained. So lots of fun and games can be had with the ball. And we hope that you can introduce lots of those things and fun into your classes. And we look forward to seeing what you get up to. Good luck.